Welcome back to Talk To Me with the coach, Mike Reed Maiden, as we're on the road. All year long, bring you behind the scenes, and I got Mark Salas, bullpen coach for the White Sox. How we doing today? Good, Mike. How are you? Just fine. Okay. Now, for my youngsters out there watching the show, exactly what is a bullpen coach on a major league level? <laughs> well, you know, we, we watch all over the relievers, mm -hmm. and uh, we get them ready to come in the game. And we just try to keep them in uh, mind who's coming up. Like late in the game, their guys know their roles, and when they start coming in the game, we just let them know who's coming. Okay. So you be down there regulating, in other words. Pretty much. You know, the first couple innings, we just let them do what they want. You know, a lot of guys are goofing around, you know. But uh, our long relievers start getting ready. If something happens in the second third, they start stretching. Okay. So, you know, we just remind them. So it's your job to kind of keep look, keep track of what's going on in the game? Yeah, pretty much. Like babysitters. Ready. Oh, I know about that, bro. <laughs> All right, now let, let's talk about your baseball career. I, I see you played in the big leagues. What was that? Uh, I came up with St. Louis in 84. Mm -hmm. Then 85, 6, and 7, I was with the Twins. Mm -hmm. Then I went to the Yankees. Mm -hmm. Then I went to the White Sox. Mm -hmm. I was traded. Me, me and Dan Pasco got traded for Dotson from the Yankees to come over here. After that, I went to Cleveland. And from Cleveland, I went to Detroit. So I've been all over. I bounced around a little bit in the American League. So what was that big league experience like for you? You know, it was fun. It was like, you know, a dream come true. Because when I was little, I always wanted to play in the big leagues. I didn't know if I wanted to play like pro football or pro baseball. So when I thought myself, I was too little to play football. So I gave it a shot in baseball. Yeah. And, you know, I, I used to coach college baseball. Yeah. And I scouted for five major league teams. And it's every kid's dream of playing in the big leagues. So, I mean, you came up in an early era from the day. When you look at today's ball players, what's the difference in the game? much stronger you know back then they, they didn't really believe in lifting a lot and here we're lifting every day our guys lift they run all the time you know most of the pitchers back in the day they ran a lot our guys hey throw your glove and a bat out there and stretch on your own and you know, let's go so not as much lifting you know you got all these energy drinks now and all that we didn't have it back then we we're you know beer beer and uh, hot dogs <laughs> so the game has become more good evening ladies and gentlemen uh -oh. Uh -oh. and welcome uh -oh. Cut. To we're cutting right now the gates to the ballpark are now open. Okay. The gates to the ballpark are now open. Here we go. So you're getting big leagues. <laughs> so, I mean, the game is more systematized today. Yes, yes. It's more regimen where uh, guys are working out five, six days a week. And before it was, you know, you might go in there maybe once or twice a week, you know, and very little. The weight rooms now are bigger than the locker rooms that we used to play in. Mm -hmm. So our weight room, we had a few weights here and there, free weights and a couple of uh, pull downs, and that was it. So you think guys are being rushed to the big leagues now? Well, if you look at it, there's not very much talent out there anymore. So you have to. you got to get them. In. They, they're learning. It's a learning stage for a lot of guys in the big leagues because their talent, it's, you know, it's, it's getting short. Well, what about you? You was a football player, high school All-American. Tell us about that for football. <laughs> I, I, I went both ways. I quarterbacked, did a little wide receiver. Right, well, you got to clarify that both ways now. You know, okay, this, both this ways is 21st century. Now. Offense, defense. Okay, here we go. <laughs> No, I was a middle linebacker in high school. I had a scholarship to play football, and I, I decided, you know, I, I went, I went on the recruiting thing, went to Arizona State, looked at those guys. These guys are 240. I'm 175 pounds coming out of high school. I said, no, I'm too small to play football. So, so now you come out here, I mean, just to be around the game. I mean, it got to make you feel young and keep you alive. You know, it does, you know, especially with all these young kids because they're always goofing around with me. You know, I, I like being loose. They know I am. You know, I goof around a lot, but when it's serious, I get serious. Yeah. But it, I just love, it keeps me young out here, running around chasing baseball, a game that you love, and I could keep doing it. I'll do it as long as I can. And, you know, a few days ago, we lost a member of the White Sox family, and Kev, Kevin Hickey. Kevin, a, a good friend of mine, uh, I've known Kevin probably about 13, 14 years, and we were pretty close. We played golf all the time. So I lost a guy that, uh, you know, he was a, supposedly a scratch golfer. That's what he told his family. So I had to give the family the news that he wasn't a scratch golfer. He was like an army guy. He would go left, right, left, right, you know, when he was swinging off the tees. But you know what, a good friend, a, a guy that would give everything he had every day, you know, big heart, you know, if you needed something, he's gonna work with you, so. So, and, you know, having coached college ball, I know when you're around these guys, you're around the coach, you become like a family. They become a part of you. Well, shoot, you're, you're with them more than your family yeah. most during the season. We're here eight months together. Yeah. So, you know, that off season, it's nice to get away, but it's just a family. You're, you, you're never away. You know, you're just a phone call away. And just like now when I'm away from my kids, it's just a phone call away. So. Coach Techie you Youngs is behind the scene with the man, Mark Salas, and we want to send our love and prayers out to the Hickey family. Thank you, Mike. All right, appreciate it. Okay,